CBS 2's Greg Mills is live at Grand Park with the very latest on that, plus why some, Greg, are giving the event mixed reviews. They are people that live down here, Susie. The folks that live here say, you know, they didn't like the traffic, but they loved having the fact that there was a grand event here, Grand Park. And you know what? Cleanup began 18 hours ago. It is continuing. We're showing you live what's happening right in front of City Hall. Workers are dismantling the big stage right in front, which is where all the big acts were this past weekend. It made it really trafficy and kind of hard to get in and out. And security guards said that uh, the park will be closed all the way through the night, reopening about 5.30 tomorrow morning. And Susie and Kent, I learned a new word, trafficy. Reporting live from <laughs> Los Angeles, downtown Los Angeles, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News. Back to you guys. Didn't we all? Greg, thanks. Good story. Rest in peace, uh, Paul Walker. Yeah. Also in this report, the impact almost split the car in half. Reporting live from Valencia, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News. CBS 2's Greg Mills is live in Inglewood to show us how archaeology students participated in the dig. And Juan, these are the archaeology students. Wow. We're in front of the uh, uh, grandstand here at Hollywood Park, about eight feet down. We're in the paddock area. Look at the work they got here at 8 o'clock this morning. You can see the work they have done, and you, it's uh, just impressive right here. The front end of the horse right here, you see the ribs and the back of the hind quarters. But uh, quite the job they have done here today at Hollywood Park. He was family. Certainly was. We found out today that there were three horses that were buried here on the property of Hollywood Park. Two have been exhumed, and this one is going to be exhumed. A native diver will end up final resting place at Del Mar, which is a site of his final win. Reporting live from Inglewood, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News. CBS 2's Greg Mills joins us live where that crash also caused a brush fire. Greg. It did, Andrew. We are alongside uh, Highway 74, Ortega Highway, overlooking Lake Elsinore. The crash happened about a half mile back that way on private property. Now, the ranch owner told us he saw flames that reached at least 100 feet high. And it's a very difficult time trying to get those bodies out of the canyon. And so far, we have been told they are not releasing the names of the victims. Reporting live from Lake Elsinore, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News. Greg Mills continues our live team coverage in Pacoima. He's learning more about the suspect's background. Greg. And Paul, we can confirm his name as well. Neighbors confirm this. Nolan Perez is his name, 41 years old, lived here in Pacoima, in fact, in this house with his parents. He has lived here for years. Detectives with LAPD were just here and left. In fact, they were here all day long talking to Perez's parents. They also interviewed at least one of his teenage daughters here. A longtime friend of his told us that he has two teenage daughters who live with their mother. Neighbors said Perez has been in a lot of trouble. CBS 2 found Perez has three prior convictions for domestic violence and two weapons charges. And CBS 2 got a copy of a criminal complaint which shows seven recent allegations of criminal threats against a woman. Neighbors say Perez has exhibited bizarre behavior around here. I saw the guy really watching the car and I said, what's going on with the guy? He was watching the car with a my rifle here, you know. I explained to my wife, and I said, that guy, he's crazy, you know. And a man who has known uh, Perez since he was about five years old, knows him very well, says he definitely has some issues and that his family had tried to get him some help. Reporting live from Pacoima, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News. With me is Mary Amante. Now, her husband works on the base. He's off the base right now. Her concern is that her five-year-old daughter is at a daycare center right now. How are you dealing with this? I'm, I just want my baby. I just want to get her out. Now, I've been watching you. You're just... Uh, just like any parent would be, just nervously pacing. And, and you've spoken to your daughter, so you know she's okay, right? She's okay. She just kind of confused about what's going on. Five-year-old. What did you tell her? I told her that she might be there a little bit longer, um, but that the other children would be there with her. Mary, you were at work. Your husband called you, and what did he say? He said that the base was in lockdown because there's a strange man um, seen with a backpack, and they don't, they can't find him, so it's just on lockdown. Is your husband okay? He's okay. He's not. They won't let him in on, on base. Mm -hmm. The reunion tonight with your daughter, what's it going to be like? <laughs> Magical. The best ever. I yeah. can see you're near tears. Mary, thank you very much. Our best to you. So that's the situation here outside Los Angeles Air Force Base. Reporting live, Greg Mills, KCAL 9 News. Paul and Pat, this is baseline, runs right past Alta Loma High School, which is maybe a block west of where I am. The girls were walking home about 2.30 this afternoon. They were on this sidewalk right here. A car jumped up over the curb, took out a tree, and then hit those three girls 
pinning one under the car and against the tree. Take a look at the uh, video we have for you. You'll see how badly damaged this car is. The three girls, I'm told they are two freshmen and a sophomore from Alta Loma High School. And the Sheriff's de uh, Department told me that all three of the girls suffered major injuries. As you mentioned, they are hospitalized right now. I spoke to a gentleman who was inside his house directly across the street. He heard this and came running out with his son to help the girls out. A uh, loud boom that shook my house. I thought somebody ran into my house or, and, and one of the vehicles in front of my house. And then you came out here and, and what did you find? Out and there was kids on the ground. Yeah, one girl was pinned between the car and the tree, which was pinned under, partly under the car. Somebody lifted it off? Yeah, I had a few of my son and a few other guys lift the car up off of her, pulled it free. As for that girl, the girl that was pinned underneath the car and against the tree, her mom was right here in this parking lot waiting to pick her up, and she witnessed the entire thing. Reporting live from Rancho Cucamonga, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News. CBS 2's Greg Mills is live to tell us about a special one-night sriracha-infused dinner that's sold out, Greg. It is, Pat and Paul. I've never had this before until today, but it is hot and good, too, sriracha. And I'll tell you what, this is a s'more. You've never seen one like this before. We're going to taste it in just a minute. But every dish here tonight at BLD on Beverly Boulevard has sriracha in it. Let's take you inside the kitchen. Crispy pork bell is the first thing you're seeing made with sriracha. Also, lobster rolls, tagliatelle, ribeye steak, all made tonight with sriracha. The hot sauce is from the city by the same name in Thailand but made right here by a company based in Rosemead. Now, the chef here at BLD is a huge fan of this hot sauce. Probably go through about a bottle a week, roughly, with chips, pizza, chicken, salads. I mean, you name it, I put it on almost everything. Including s'mores. These are the most uh, beautiful s'mores I've ever seen in my life. We're going to taste them. This is uh, Roan and Audrey. Go ahead. Ladies, take it real quick, and let's see what you think. Mm. Pat and Paul, I'm going to speak with my mouth full, excuse me. Oh, is that good? Very good. I'll bring one home for you, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Take that all day long, yeah. And Greg, we noticed, <laughs> that we noticed your, your young friends there, they went right for the, wa yeah. the glass yeah. of water. <laughs> they, they don't look good.